Hey, what's up guys? It's War Koopa, and in today's video, I'll be giving you an update on the first zone fight in my Tides of War KVK, how I performed, what the map looks like, and what's going to happen next. And then at the end of the video, hopefully I'm going to fix an armament that I ruined. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I made a YouTube short on it recently, and at the time of this audio recording, I have no idea how it's gonna go. So let's start with the KVK. In this KVK, it's water and fire, which is the left side, versus earth and wind being on the right side. And we fall on two sides in our zone, our one zone, which is fire versus earth. And both camps were able to get their forts down. And in our camp, we happen to have this monster stacked kingdom for a low seed. And their alliance name, I cannot pronounce it, so we would just go with XCS. And as you can see, they completely dominate Lost Canyon. So what ended up happening is we sent XCS down there on that side of their zone, and they succeeded in taking their half of the zone. Meanwhile, in the same zone, but up here, we decided to send me alone to fight everyone else by myself. And here are the receipts actually. And as you can see, it's just me alone by myself and maybe a ghost near me, but I don't believe in those things. Anyways, I took a few rallies and the first guy, Anustar, was the first to rally me and he tried it with the Nevsky Justinian and not gonna lie, he had me a little bit concerned. Even though I knew I was going to be fine and had everyone there to swarm him, the entire time his trades were still trading better than mine and it wasn't looking good for me. But truthfully, I only survived because we had the field and that's it. I know that guy has insane cavalry gear, nice job Onustar, maybe I'm saying that name right, uh, oh wells, I don't know. Anyways, despite him getting swarmed, he still traded better than me, although I did have a lot of ally T1 siege and other stuff in my city, so maybe that offsets the report a little bit. Moving on, we have another rally, this time from Itachi, and it's also a Nevsky with Justinian, and at first it looked pretty even to my uneducated mind, but then ultimately it gets swarmed down from all my buddies, and again, I have no help out here, it's just me by myself. Anyways, I gained around 53 million kill points in total. It's not a lot, I get that, but I got to fight like 3 hours, and then I went to work, and when I got out, it was kind of already settled as to what was going to happen, and there wasn't a lot of fighting left to do anyways. Now, that doesn't mean that it was easy. No, these guys fought well, even against XCS. I just think that they didn't want to waste any resources and speedups that they didn't have to, because they still have safe passage here, and they can still get to King's Land. And then way down here you have our ally water on the left versus wind on the right and I didn't pay much attention honestly but our ally also won the zone in the end and I think that wind camp, the enemy, gave our allies some trouble if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, hopefully they haven't given up either. I haven't spoken to anyone, that's just what I think from what I saw. Anyways, that was all skepticism, so that was all the combat stuff. Now, Friday, March 22nd, past 5 opened, and so a video on the Altar of Darkness should drop whenever that Altar of Darkness opens up. And then past 7 should open up at 1535 UTC, which is April 3rd, and that's on a Wednesday, in case anyone part of the KVK is watching. And no, I don't live stream because I don't know how to do that. I record on mobile, and so it is what it is. And now lastly, we move on to the armament portion of the video. I'm not going to explain what I'm doing, but I just chugged one. And every time I take a bad roll, I'm going to take another swig. So I already prepared, I already have a, whatever that thing was. And we use it, I guess. And then we go on to the first one. We first do our transmutation and... I guess we're not taking any swigs. I have to figure out what I'm going to do now for the rest of this stupid video. So the next, I guess we go on to Zuji because he is literally the only thing I have going for me. And we have four tries. So let's see how it goes. If this goes wrong, it went wrong. We're taking a swig. Now I already know not to put replace. So we press transmute again. I couldn't do it. What am I doing wrong? He's not even in the city. That's what happened. Let's not trip. Okay, so we go on to transmute again and see how that one goes. Okay, so that's better than before. I didn't even save the archer attack. I'm so fucking stupid, I swear. But I'm going to replace it anyways. Ta-da. So we don't take a swig. Unless I want. No, I won't. I won't. I won't take a swig. So learning from previous mistakes made one second ago, I'm going to go ahead and save these two. Oh my gosh, five? 
five transmutation stones? That's expensive. Whatever. For a YouTube. We did not get it, so that means we take a swig. And then for the last one, I know I have five extra transmutation stones, but I don't want to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and try it one more time. And let's see how it goes. Tada! Oh, we did. We got it. We got it. We got all three. All right, let's go. Cool. I'm still going to take my swig because it's the end of the video. So here we go. Okay, so that's all my transmutations. I think I'm going to press replace. That's the move. Right. This is what I press. Yes, right? Yes. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, okay. So we got it this time. Finally, we have fixed our mistakes. Not finally, we did it on Sargon, but you know what I mean. Anyways, that's it for the video. Sorry. Uh, I don't know what I'm apologizing for. Whatever, I'm ending it. Bye.